Hi lovelies, this is a video of me being diagnosed with Parkinson's at 19 years old. So this is, I actually have another video about this somewhere in the history of Boston Girl TV, but I, I recently went to my neurologist and it's so funny that we discussed this. So, my hand started shaking when I was in the fifth grade. And the reason I know it was the fifth grade was because my hand, my hands were shaking and my handwriting was getting worse. So my teachers really thought there was something wrong with me. So they tried to test me and I tested me on grade level so they couldn't put me in special ed. Because you know each year you got a new group of teachers. They kind of didn't talk to the old teachers so they didn't realize that my handwriting deteriorated. So going along with life, things started to get worse. But when I was 17, I took myself to the neurologist. You know, my mother was a working mom. She gave me the card. I knew how to take the bus and the train. And I took myself to the neurologist. He said I had tremors and he put me on various medications to control the tremors. It didn't work. I had massive side effects to all these medications. And I asked him, would this kill me? And he said, no. So I decided I didn't want to take the medicine anymore. So that led to it progressively getting worse. I was 17 then. So by this point, I'm in college. And I had those college health insurance. And I went to just a regular doctor's appointment. And the nurse told the doctor to watch the way I walked. And, you know, mind you, I've seen this doctor several times. But it was the nurse. Thank you, nurses. Love y'all. That told him to watch the way I walked. He watched the way I walked. And he said he thought I had Parkinson's disease. So I am old. So this was before Muhammad Ali and Michael J. Fox had Parkinson's disease. I don't know what the hell Parkinson's disease was. And I looked it up and now I'm crying profusely in my college dorm room because I was like, I'm going to die. So I called my health insurer. School was about to be out for the summer. And I made an appointment at um, BMC, Boston Medical Center. I think it was like University Health, but Boston Medical Center neurology department which is actually the same place I went with a doctor said I had tremors but it was the neurologically neurological center so I went and saw a Parkinson's disease specialist and I'm sitting in the waiting room and all these old people are like shaking uncontrollably and I'm 19 years old and I start crying. Oh my god, I thought this was going to be my fate. So the doctor comes out and thank you, doctor. He gave me a hug like he was my freaking daddy. And he brought me in and he was like, like is that what's going to happen to me? You know, I mean, I was ugly, nasty, crying. And he was like, you do not have Parkinson's disease. You are entirely too young to have Parkinson's disease. But he put me on a Parkinson's disease medication and all my symptoms went away. He said I have Parkinsonism. That's a name he made up. This is 1995-ish. He made up the name or whatever, it went away. I went to see him for several years. I was on the same dosage for several years and had no symptoms. So later on, my I moved to Atlanta, so my general care physician, like my regular doctor, would give me the cinnamon. I take cinnamon 25 over 100, and they would prescribe it, but eventually he made me go see a neurologist. He's like, you ain't seen a neurologist in years, but nothing had changed. So I went to see a neurologist, and they said now the new name of it was dopamine responsive dystonia. So that's what I have that is effective with Parkinson's disease medication. So then later on, when I was deciding to have a baby, um, I wanted to know if this medication would hurt the baby. And to be honest, they have no idea. So I don't know if the medication is what brought on either autism or the vaccines. Like, I don't know. But the medication I take is a class C drug and it passes through the placenta, I guess. It put, they they haven't really tested it, to be honest, because the people who have Parkinson's disease are 60, 70, 80 years old. And what I have from what my you know, last neurologist report said is rare beyond rare beyond rare. It's a rare condition. It's so funny because I, I wrote a blog on it years ago and people reached out to me that actually had the same thing. And this woman reached out to me and she had a baby and the doctor made her get off of the medication while she was pregnant and she ended up hospitalized because they're very debilitating. By the time I got the medication, I couldn't put an earring in my ear and I looked like I walked with a limp. Like it was really, really bad. It was so deteriorating. So with that, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's 
to end up with dopamine responsive dystonia. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and I will answer them. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back. Autism, mom strong. Yeah. Do anything for her, baby. You know that it's so amazing. Yeah. Autism, mom strong. Every day, autism, mom strong. Boston, what up?